So I'm gonna show you here how to calibrate your thermometer for candy making. It's really important to calibrate it so that you get an accurate te final temp on whatever type of candy you're making. Um, now it's really easy to calibrate your thermometer, stick it in a pot of boiling water and see what it reads. Now I have two thermometers here. I have an analog Williams-Sonoma thermometer and then I have a digital Thermoworks um, dot thermometer. And this is a really easy setup. Um, there's a probe on it, and then I have this probe clip to hold the probe in place. Um, really simple. So it doesn't take that long. Boil some water, put your thermometer in, and see what it reads. Now, I'm not a big fan of these analog thermometers because to me, it's like, okay, where is that red line? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Um, and then you have to look at those little dashes and figure out where it's reading and what that means. And, and all the while you're trying to stir your candy if you're making caramels and make sure that it doesn't go over temp. And um, so it's just too much. To me, boom, there's a, a reading. It's a digital thermometer. You can see the number very clearly. To me, this is so much easier to see what the temp is. And that's really the big reason why I like digital thermometers. So now that you know what your temperature is for boiling water where you're at, now what? Well, it's really easy. It takes a little bit of math, but promise, I promise you it's not that hard. Uh, whatever your temp is for boiling water, whether it's plus or minus, you're going to either add or subtract that amount to, the, to your final temp. Now, my water here is boiling at 210. It's fluctuating a little bit, but it's really, it, it hung out at 210 for during most of this. So, and that's accurate because I'm at a thousand feet above sea level. And so water should boil at 210 at this elevation. So the thermometer itself is very accurate, but I didn't really know that, oh, hey, I'm a thousand feet above sea level. That means that my, you know, the, the boiling temp is going to be different and that's going to impact your final temp on your candy. So, so in my case, if I want to cook caramels to say 244 degrees, I need to lower that temp by two degrees. My thermometer was reading 210. It should be reading 212, that's Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius, um, I'm gonna talk in Fahrenheit, um, but it should be 212, it's reading 210, two degree difference, so that means I'm gonna lower my final temp by two degrees. If I wanna cook my caramels to 244, I'm actually gonna look for my thermometer to hit 242. Now, if my thermometer was reading 215 for boiling water, say, you know, wasn't a very accurate thermometer or whatever, it doesn't matter, um, then I would add three degrees to my final temp. So again, if I wanted my caramels to, to reach 244 degrees, I would cook them until my thermometer read 247 degrees. So just a little bit of math, just remember that if your thermometer is reading lower than 212 while boiling water, you're going to deduct that number, whatever that difference is, you're gonna deduct that from your final temp. If your thermometer is reading over 212 while boiling water, you're going to add that difference to your final temp. Pretty easy stuff. I know a little bit of math, but not too hard. But it's just super important to calibrate your thermometer because a couple degrees difference can really make, it can really impact the final texture of caramel. Um, if you've made caramel before, you probably know that a couple degrees and it's, you know, a couple degrees higher and it could be a lot harder than you want, a couple degrees lower and it's, you know, way too soft for what you want. So super important, super easy. And there you go. Hope that helps. Stay sweet.